This is a case of Crow versus Reinhardt. Thank you, Jerome. Good day, everyone. Good day. Ms. Crow, you have summoned the defendant to court to prove that her deceased son, J.C. Turner, fathered your two-year-old son, Thomas. You want Thomas to know who his father is, and you say that Ms. Reinhardt has done everything she can to sabotage your efforts. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Ms. Reinhardt, you state that Ms. Crow is a liar and a manipulator and that the child in question is not your deceased son's baby. You say Ms. Crow used your son for money when he was alive and now it's trying to claim him as her son's father only to get death benefits. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Ms. Crow, are you doing this just for the money? It is more than just the money. I would like help with my son, yes, of course, but my son cannot grow up and meet his father. So he deserves that right to know who his father is and to know who his family is. And at, to this point, he doesn't have any real knowledge of his father. You have not talked to him about his father or have you? I have. Um, you have. Actually, when my son was first born and he was, you know, just a few months old, I would talk on the phone every day with Jay and I would put him on speakerphone so his son could hear his voice. Okay. And so, Ms. Reinhardt, you don't believe your son is Ms. Crow's child's biological father? No. Explain. For several reasons. In the time period, the time frame she said she was... When she told me she was pregnant, it didn't happen that way. There's no way she could have been just two weeks pregnant and had a stomach firm as she did. You're saying she couldn't have a stomach as firm? I mean, after two weeks, you, you don't have a stomach as firm as that. And so she had just met your son? You were meeting her for the first time? I was... I had met her three times. That was about the third time I had seen her. All right, continue. Uh... Oh, looking at that picture... I understand. My son and I had a very tight relationship. Yes. And Jay would tell me everything mm -hmm. when nobody else was around. I knew my son inside and out. And I, ju I just don't... As a mother, as a grandmother, having four babies of my own, my gut tells me this is not my grandson. I do not see my son in that. I don't... I'm sorry, I'm dope. So, Ms. Crow, can you talk to me about the relationship? Um, when I first met Jay, we were at a skate park. I noticed him in the parking lot and I called him over to me and we had a conversation. From that conversation, we ended up walking to the store. We had, you know, became inseparable. We, you know, developed, you know, feelings and it did happen all too fast. He did ask me to be his girlfriend and we did have unprotected sex as well. So there's no doubt in my mind that Jay's the father. I did not sleep with anybody else in that time. When I was with him, there's, to me, there's no other option. And once I, you know, told him about it, he was happy. He was happy to have a child. He never denied my son. And if he was here today, we wouldn't have to be here because he would willingly do so. He never said anything rude or disrespectful to me. He was nice to me. He was very accepting. He knew this was his child. Um, we were together every day. He'd have believed you if you told him the sky was purple. Well, that's he your own opinion. The, he that's your own had opinion. He the mental capacity of a 16-year-old. And this how... Okay, and you he know had, what? He had feelings. He was schizophrenic. He had feelings. He was schizophrenic and he had stress seizures. Okay. And I took care of and him. And my son... I didn't leave him because of that. Mom. And she could have told him that that was... She was pregnant. That's his... That's his baby. So he you're saying he really... did not have the discernment to even say, I don't believe that's my baby. No. I've had eight grandkids. And all eight of my grandkids favor me. I've got a baby picture. If you... And if I take that baby picture, I can put it up against my daughter. I can even put it up against my 18-year-old granddaughter. I could put it up against Jay's brother. I could put it up against Jay's baby picture, okay? And we all look like quadruplets. I have strong genes. So, Ms. Crow, you say your genes are strong as well. Do you see a resemblance to his dad? Hit my son. He has a silly sense of humor like Jay. He likes to dance like Jay. And 
you know, just right there, you can see it. Like his hair, that is Jay. And, um, you know, there, there are things about him that are a lot like me. But at the same time, you cannot deny that. That is, that's his father. I asked her if she took a pregnancy test, Your Honor. She told me no. I said, you didn't take a pregnancy test. How do you know you're pregnant? I know my body. Well, I know first what it of feels all, your like. hormone levels Feel have my... to build up to even pass a pregnancy test. Ooh, did you just learn this? No, I've been knew this. The, sh the truth will set you free. You know, maybe you'll <laughs> learn if you actually tell the truth. Uh, right, okay. And so you felt like she was being so descriptive that she was really already pregnant. Yes, ma'am. Yes, Your Honor. I, like I said, I've had four kids. I have a bowed left, left leg. My daughter has a bowed left leg. J.C. was pigeon-toed from birth. So J.C. had lived being severely pigeon-toed all his life. And you believe this baby does not have that characteristic, it which is, furthers your doubt? To my understanding. If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. Take me to the point in which the baby was born. Was JC participating in the birth? Okay, so um, me and JC, at the time we were living together, it was March 2015, I have decided to no longer go any further in the relationship because I have two other kids, I'm pregnant, and he's a grown man. He's doing what he wants to do and I can't stop him. He comes home one night, and he's drunk, he left the door wide open, we don't live in the best neighborhood. So, I, that was the last straw. I didn't want nothing bad to happen to me, or my children, or him in my care. I was gonna send him to you, but I couldn't get in contact to you, you so I sent him where he felt uh, comfortable, where he came from, Topeka, Kansas. You neither one even tried to contact me. And so when Thomas was born, did J.C. accept the baby as his own? He told everybody that we would come across, friends, even people we didn't know he had conversations with. She's pregnant with my baby. He's really happy. He's excited. Um, he never denied my child. And he, I knew for a fact that, you know, he's the father because I haven't been with anybody else. I was only with him at that, in that time frame. He did come when my son was three months old. He came to see him. He had me take pictures on his phone with him and his son. And after that, you know, we went our separate ways and, you know, other things happened. But I was trying to take care of my family, you know, and that's what I was doing. All I know is I saw a picture on Facebook of another man that My she was boyfriend. With. That's not his father. He was Jamaican. Does he look half Jamaican? And, you know, I lost my father the same year my son lost his father. So there's no reason why I would be up here for no reason. I'm doing this for my son. My son has the right to know, and Jay has, you know, health issues, and we need to know about your health history for your family, because what if it can help my son when he gets older? You don't know that. How soon after... Thomas was born, did J.C. pass away? The same week he turned one. It was almost a year. Her son was born June So 27th. he saw him at three months old, but never saw him again for nine months? He never saw the baby? I'm telling you, I was living in Vegas. When we and him were together, we lived in Henderson together. He was in Henderson. I was in Vegas. I didn't have a phone number. He didn't have no way to contact me. I didn't even know he was still here until I'm scrolling down my newsfeed on Facebook and I see a mutual friend of ours post, rest in peace, Jay, with his picture. And I contacted this person like, what's going on? And they tell me, so I want to make sure it's true. I call the coroner's office. Is it true? You have J.C. Turner there. Yes, it is true. Do you know where any of his family's at? Because he don't have family out here I like that. I was the one told her he passed away. I... And she called talked the to the court, coroner's office. They the said they haven't even talked to her. Behind my back to get a sample of his DNA, Your Honor. Oh, no, ma'am. She didn't even have the decency to bring it to me. I called her and asked, asked her. She denied no. it. That's why no. we're here today. No, ma'am. Miss Crow, you say now all of these attempts to be in contact and get the DNA and the benefits are all in hopes that your son will know his father, but what were you doing actively for those nine months Nothing. to make sure your child knew his father? Well, Nothing. like I said it 
stated earlier, Nothing. I lost my father on the third month of that year and the father of my son the seventh month of that year. I was going through stuff my own self. I have a seven-year-old daughter. I have a four-year-old daughter. Got to make sure my daughter goes to school. Got to make sure there's food on the table. I have to make sure of all of these things. And I didn't even have a job at the time, but my kids were taken care of. I took care of my kids. I guess the question then becomes, why is your pursuit different in death than it was in life? What? Meaning after the death, you had the means, the time, the wherewithal, the, the always initiative that. to find the benefits find the DNA, you want your child to know his father. I understand your sentiment. I'm just thinking about the intention. And you say you knew him and you took care of him and you, all of these things you were to him. How do you lose track of your child's biological father? How well, do you not attend somebody's memorial when they're given a memorial of their death? Because your daughter has school the next day and you can't get a babysitter? Um, no, you that was what you guys did. I no, went to the I've skate park proof. where I I've met him. I've got you can have all the proof you want to make yourself you were feel not better there. because I know what I you did. You were not there. Okay, good I for you. I was there for two hours with his best I friend. I didn't want to go and, and be around you. You see how you act? So you're saying, Ms. Crow, you purposely did not go to the memorial service because you didn't want to have an encounter, a negative encounter or altercation. Right. Because I'm already upset, everybody's upset, and doesn't nobody needs that extra drama. Oh, nobody. Yeah. So, Ms. Reinhardt, I want to ask you: Have you ever seen Thomas? No. I didn't even know when the baby was born because I wasn't contacted. Jay knew. Jay knew. He yeah, Jay he he knew. He's supposedly the alleged father. Not. It don't have to be alleged because we're gonna find out today. So you listen. Won't see it for yourself. Yes, we are. Yes, and then I'm, then I can let my scab, I can let my scab build back up. Because it's all about you, I'm right? Took, it's about my son. It don't matter about I'm you the one or that took me. Care it's about of my son. My son deserves okay. better. That's what he's going to get. I'm the one that took care of JC. I'm the one that drove all the way from Wichita Falls, Texas, paid for his cremation, paid for the car to, that, to rent. But what about to when you left him, him here with no money? By myself. And I paid for him so he wasn't home. So listen. By myself. What about that? I, I want to ask you to be fair because I asked Miss Crow the same question. How do you lose track of him? That's your son. He was mad with me because he believed that I was stealing his money. I was the one making sure his bills were paid. I was the one making sure he had a... But when a, she left and he was evicted... He had a two And I was there and he had no money... He didn't have he nowhere to go. I the... paid for him a place to stay. He had... I had somewhere to stay. I didn't have to spend that money, but I made sure he was okay while he was with me. So we're here now, and this is this is serious because JC is gone now. Yeah, he's, he's no gone. longer with us, but this baby, <laughs> who's potentially his biological child, is here, two years old. Only seen his father one, one time. And the mother and the grandmother are at odds. I think I'm ready to get the results. How about you? Yes. Yeah. Yes. It's time. <laughs> These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics and they read as follows. Because there wasn't a blood card available to test the DNA of the deceased J.C. Turner. We performed a DNA test with the surviving parent, Maretta Reinhardt. With that being said, the results determine if there is a viable relationship between the child, Thomas Crow, and Maretta Reinhardt. Do you want to watch Paternity Court on TV? Go to paternitycourt.tv to find your local listings. In the case of Crow versus Reinhardt, when it comes to two-year-old Thomas Crow, it has been determined by this court the percentage of relatedness between Ms. Reinhardt and Thomas Crow is 99.6% you are related.
<laughs> that is your grandchild. Ms. Reinhardt, you have never laid eyes on your grandchild. Ms. Pro, I have to ask you, would Not it be picture. okay if you joined me in my chambers with Thomas so that Ms. Reinhardt could meet him, hold him for the first time? Yes, I would. Would you like to see your grandson? I'd love to. All right. That's what we're gonna do. I'll meet you there. Court is adjourned. All right, ladies. It has been a long, long journey, but we've made it to this place, right? Yeah. And it's up to us to figure out where we go from here. Jerome, are you there? I told you. There's mom. Can you say hi, Grandma? Say hi. Hi. Can see you give grandma? high fives? You want to see her? Say hi. Go give love. <gasps> yeah. Oh. Hi. Kisses. Oh. 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 You know? Take care of him. He's just precious. Thank all right. You so I wish much. you all the very best. Oh yeah! <laughs> Here. I'm <laughs> trying to play soccer. <laughs> Look, I'm good at this. But this is an important moment, right? Yeah. That let's hold on to forever, right? I love this. This is fantastic. <laughs> this is the first time this has ever happened, and I'm loving it. <laughs>